So hi there students, welcome back to another video lesson. So after nating i-discuss yung topics on rational algebraic expressions, so for this week, uh, week 5 of grade 8 mathematics quarter 1, we will be illustrating the rectangular coordinate system and its usage. So let's start. So for our lesson objectives, we will be defining rectangular coordinate system, other important terms, and its uses. And we will also be plotting points using a Cartesian coordinate plane. So let's have rectangular coordinate system. The rectangular coordinate system, also known as Cartesian coordinate system, is attributed to the French mathematician René Descartes, also known as pattern of modern mathematics. So Cartesian coordinate plane. The Cartesian coordinate plane is composed of two perpendicular number lines that meet at a point of intersection called the origin and divided into four regions called quadrants. So if you are aware with perpendicular lines, so ito po yung mga lines na nag-intersect to form right angles. And then yung intersection point dito is what we call the origin. And then nung nag-intersect yung dalawang perpendicular lines na yun, nabuo yung four regions which we call quadrants. So each point in the coordinate system is defined by an ordered pair of the form x, y, where x and y are elements of real number. Okay, so bawat point po dun sa Cartesian coordinate plane na yun, ay tinatawag po na ordered pair, na kung saan sinusulat sila in the form of x and then y. The x-coordinate is called the abscissa, and the y-coordinate is called the ordinate. So, yung x-coordinate po, ang tawag po dun is abscissa, and then yung y-coordinate naman po is ordinate. So, there are also points which lie on the coordinate axis. So, meron po tayong mga points na na located po dun sa mga coordinate axis na wala po dun sa mga quadrants. If the points lie on the x-axis, we name the coordinates as x0. If the points lie on the y-axis, we name the coordinates as 0y. So, itong mga points po na ito, located lang po sila sa mga uh, coordinate axis. So, kapag uh, wala pong 0 yung mga isa man dyan sa mga points, na ordered pair, big sabihin po, nasa quadrants po sila. So, wala po sila sa uh, coordinate axis. So, para maging aware kayo dun sa mga terms na sinabi ko kanina, let's have the rectangular coordinate plane. Okay, so the Cartesian coordinate plane. As you can see, yung vertical axis natin, yung patayo, is what we call the y-axis. And then yung pahiga naman, the horizontal axis, is the x-axis. And then matatagpuan nyo dyan yung zero, yung tinatawag na origin, na kung saan nag-meet yung dalawang number line na yon. So, and then, meron din din tayo dyan is yung mga negative integers sa positive integers as well as yung 0. So, i-name natin sila. Ang tawag natin dun sa y-axis and x-axis, coordinate axis. Okay. And then, yung point na nasa gitna, yung point of intersection ng dalawang perpendicular number lines na yan is sinatawag nating origin. Na kung saan yung coordinates niya is 0, 0. Okay. What else? So, yung mga quadrants naman natin, yung mga regions, yung four regions naman natin, yung quadrant 1 natin, ayan, na kung saan yung, yung sign ng mga coordinates natin, yung x and y, parehong positive. Okay. What else? Yung quadrant 2 naman natin, yung x natin is negative, and then yung y coordinate natin is positive. On the third quadrant, as you can see, yung ating mga coordinates parehong negative. And then, on the fourth quadrant, yung x-coordinate natin, yung abscissa, is positive. And then, yung coordinate natin, the y-coordinate, is negative. So, yan lang po yung mga dapat yung tandaan sa Cartesian coordinate plane. So, after kung ma-illustrate sa inyo yung Cartesian coordinate plane and then yung mga related terms like, for example, yung quadrants, yung origin, x-axis, and y-axis, so, magpa-plot naman tayo ng points. So, how do we plot points in the coordinate plane? So, first, 
move along the x-axis as many units from the origin left right for the x-coordinate or abscissa. So, nag start tayo dun sa origin sa pinakagitna and then we move left to right ng x-axis depende dun sa uh, coordinate. So, kapag uh, negative yung x-coordinate natin, we move to the left. We move to the right naman kapag positive. And then, after that, we move up, down, vertically as many units as the y-coordinate or ordinate to locate the point in the coordinate plane. Okay. So, kapag yung ating namang uh, y-coordinate naman natin is nasa taas, pataas. Okay. Maaring positive kasi siya. So, mag-up tayo. Kapag naman negative siya, pupunta tayo ng down. So, again, depende po dun sa mga given ordered pairs. So, for activity number one, Locate the following set of ordered pairs in the coordinate plane and identify what quadrants do each points belong. So, ang una muna natin gagawin is locate kung nasaan yung mga ordered pairs. And then, after natin malocate yung ordered pairs dun sa coordinate plane, that's the time na i-identify natin anong quadrant na bibilang yung mga points. So, kung hindi sila nabibilang dun sa quadrants, so, nandun po sila dun sa coordinate axis. Maaring nasa x-axis o kaya naman y-axis. So, let's start. So, plot. Uh, point A. So, yung coordinates niya is 3 and negative 1. So, again, mag start tayo sa pinakagitna. And then, we move uh, 3 steps to the right. Kasi positive yung 3. So, ito po yung 3. And then, after nun, Negative 1, so dahil negative yun, magmumove tayo ng isa pababa. Okay, so ibig sabihin po, ito po yung 3 and negative 1. So malalaman mo na tama kapag nakatapat na sila pareho, 3 and then negative 1. And then iname natin A, 3, negative 1. Okay, next, 0, 5 naman tayo. So kung papansin ninyo yung isa sa mga coordinates ng ordered pair natin is 0. So, ibig sabihin, nasa coordinate axis yan. So, mag-start tayo sa 0, sa gitna, and then, we move 5 steps upward. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, nandito po yung 0, 5. Nasa y-axis. So, i-name natin siya B, 0, 5. Okay, next. Negative 2, negative 2. Okay, so negative 2, negative 2. So, start tayo sa origin. And then, mag-move tayo to the left naman. Kasi negative. So, ito po yung negative 2. And then, move tayo ng uh, 2 uh, downward, pababa. So, negative 2, 1, 2. So, ibig sabihin po, nandito po yung negative 2, negative 2. Magkatapat po sila. Ayan. So, name natin as C, negative 2, negative 2. Okay? Next, 4, negative 5. So, from the origin, mag-step tayo ng 4 to the right. So, ito po yung 4. And then, negative 5, baba tayo ng 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, nagbaba po tayo ng 5. As you can see, nakatapat po yung 4 saka yung negative 5. So, pangalanan po natin siya as D 4 negative 5. Next, letter E naman, negative 6, 0. So, again, meron naman pong 0 sa isa sa mga co uh, coordinates natin. So, ibig sabihin nasa maaring y-axis o so kaya x-axis. So, negative 6, 0. So, ito po yung negative 6. And then, itapat natin sa 0. So, yung 0 nasa gitna po. So, ibig sabihin, nandito po yung negative 6, 0. So, pangalanan natin siya as E, negative 6, 0. Next, yung last po natin is yung F, negative 1 and 3. Okay, negative 1, 3. So, yung negative 1 from 0, papuntang left. So, ito po yung negative 1. And then, uh, 3 steps upward. 1, 2, 3. So, ibig sabihin, nandito po yung negative 1, 3. So, 
Pangalala natin siya as F negative 1, 3. So, after po natin malocate yung mga points, so, pwede na po natin sabihin, yung determine kung anong quadrants sila nabibilang. So, yung letter A po, nasa quadrant 4. Next, yun naman pong uh, B, nasa y-axis. And then, yung negative 2, negative 2, yung C, nasa quadrant 3. And then, yung 4, negative 5, nasa quadrant 4 ulit. And then, yung negative 6, 0, is nasa x-axis. And then, yung negative 1, 3, nasa quadrant 2. So, ayan. Ganyan lang po yung tamang pagplat ng points sa coordinate plane. So, for activity number 2, points are already plotted on the coordinate plane. Identify the order pair for every point. So, kanina, nagplat tayo ng points given yung mga ordered pair. So, ngayon, nakaplat na po yung mga points, i-identify lang natin yung mga coordinates. So, papangalanan lang po natin. A. Okay. Nasaan yung A? So, yung A nasa quadrant 3. So, kapag nag-name po tayo, nag-start po tayo sa X and then Y. So, yung A po, ayan, nasa quadrant 3, nasa negative 5, tsaka negative 2. So, yung negative 5 po nasa X axis, so mauna siya, negative 5, and then nasa Y axis naman yung negative 2. So, yung A po, yung coordinates po niya, negative 5, negative 2. Next, yung B naman po, nasa quadrant 1. So, sa quadrant 1, pareho po silang positive. So, mauna tayo dun sa 2 na nasa x-axis and then 4 na nasa y-axis. So, yung coordinates po ng B, 2 and then 4. Yung C naman, nasa quadrant 4. Na ang coordinates po is uh, positive, negative. So, mag-start po tayo sa 5, nasa x-axis. And then, yung negative 4 na nasa y-axis. So, 5, negative 4, yun po yung mga coordinates ng C. Yung D naman po, kung mapapansin nyo, nasa x-axis. So, paano po yan? So, nasa negative 2 yung x, and then yung 0 naman, yung sa y. So, sulat natin siya as negative 2, and then 0. Next naman, yung E. So, yung I po, nasa y-axis naman. So, baligtad. Kung kanina, nasa huli yung 0, dito naman, mauna yung 0. So, ganun lang po yung technique. So, 0, and then, nakaplay siya sa negative 5. So, yung coordinates po ng I, 0 and negative 5. Finally, yung F, nasa quadrant 2, na negative positive po yung mga sign ng coordinates. So, mag-start tayo sa negative 4 na nasa x-axis. And then, yung y-axis naman, yung coordinates niya is 3. So, negative 4, 3. Ito po yung coordinates ng f. So, yun lang po yung uh, pagsulat ng mga coordinates. So, tandaan lagi pong nauna yung x-coordinate dun sa y-coordinates. So, after nating uh, i-introduce sa inyo yung rectangular coordinate system, and then at the same time, mag-plot tayo ng mga points. So, our next lesson will be illustrating linear equation in two variables. Okay. So, na-introduce na sa inyo yung linear equation in one variable ng grade 7. So, ngayon, two variables naman po ang ating gagamitin. Variable x and y. So, yun lang. Sana may natutunan kayo dito sa video na ito. Maraming salamat.